Hello, and welcome to this edition of Reston Today. I'm Andy Siegel, your host. In today's segment, with less than a year to complete the parking garage, we'll find out what's new at the Reston Station. Planning on visiting a pool? Did you know we have 14 of them? Willa Whitaker explores some of our more hidden gems. The Reston Kids Triathlon is looking for volunteers. Join this great event and help make these kids' dreams come true. And are you a senior adult living in Reston? Want to make new friends and watch a movie for free? To find out more, please stay with us. As Reston Station takes form, major structural elements are being erected each day. Today we visit with Dave Message, Senior Superintendent of Reston Station, and find out about a new element called the Elephant Stand. Hi again from Reston Station. I'm Dave Message, Senior Superintendent for Davis Construction. I'm happy to tell you that your Metro parking garage is more than 50% complete. A year from now, we'll hand the keys to the county and we'll model and begin testing of the Phase 1 of the Silver Line. Today we're going to look at an engineering marvel, an incredible steel structure that we call the Elephant Stand. As you know, the garage includes a bus transit facility. In order to get big buses in and out of the garage, a five-lane entrance and exit was designed. Our team of engineers needed to find a way to distribute the load of the building over a span that wide. After looking at a number of options, they decided to fabricate a steel framework that looks just like the stand that a circus elephant uses for tricks. Special steel fabricated in Germany and shaped here in the U.S. There about 200,000 pounds came in on eight tractor trailers, rolled onto the site, cranes lifted it and placed it. Welders will work for about six weeks making the connections. Thanks for tuning in here at Reston Station. We look forward to updating you on the progress in upcoming months. We often hear that living in Reston is like living in a park. And in this park we have 14 pools available this summer with a variety of amenities for every age. Hi, I'm Willa Whitaker, Aquatics Assistant with the Reston Association. This beautiful weather and time of year brings out our residents to our more popular pools, but did you know we have 14 pools available to you? Three of our pools that tend to be underutilized throughout the season still offer great amenities and are here waiting for you. Newbridge Pool off Soapstone Drive features a large rectangular wading pool, one meter diving board, and two dedicated lap lanes. Golf Course Island Pool tucked off North Shore Drive also features a large wading pool and one meter board, as well as two grass areas for out of water lounging. Shadowwood Pool offers a ton of shade, a small deep water slide, and a newly refurbished bathhouse. With all these facilities and a variety of membership options, we're sure there's something here for you in Reston. We hope to see you at our pools this summer. The Reston Kids Triathlon is preparing for another amazing turnout this August, and they're in need of dedicated volunteers to help these future athletes along. Here's Larry Butler, Director of Parks and Recreation, to tell us more. We want you to be part of one of the most inspiring events in Reston. The Reston Kids Triathlon is going to be here at Ridge Heights Pool Sunday, August 12th at 8 o'clock in the morning. And we need volunteers. We hope you come out and support the 250 kids who are going to swim, bike, and run and have a whole lot of fun. We need your help, so please come out and volunteer for this great event. RA Volunteers, you're invited to the Volunteer Appreciation Pool Party here at Hunters Woods Pool on Friday, July 27th from 6 to 8.30 p.m. Bring your family and enjoy a nice evening with fellow volunteers and RA staff. Come enjoy food, music, door prizes, and giveaways. This is our way of thanking you for giving back to the community where you live, work, play, and get involved. Hope to see you there. So now you've raised the family and you finished your day job, what's next? Hi, I'm Kathleen Driscoll, and we'll learn how some of Reston seniors are answering that question in this edition of Exploring Reston. In our community, there are many ways to keep involved. We have advisory committees that provide the board information on almost everything, from the environment to communications, and most importantly, seniors. And this is one active bunch of folks. The committee plans activities for the entire year. They're mind building workshops, monthly movies, socials, trips, and gatherings. You don't have to know anyone when you sign up, and you are guaranteed to have friends by the time the day is done. If you have some creative ideas for trips or activities, the Seniors Advisory Committee is a great place to belong. It meets the second Tuesday of every month in Reston. If you want to learn more about all the activities, you can check our website Reston.org or call 703-435-6530. Thanks for taking the time to join me for this edition of Exploring Reston. Well, that's all the time we have. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Reston Today.